Hi, this is Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. Well, here I am reading again, putting my brain to work, right? And lo and behold, what did I read? What's going on with the deficit, and what do we expect our world to be going on in the United States? What is going on? Well, it's worldwide, but it's, it's going broke. America going broke. AARP Bulletin. This made me pick it up, and actually, this is very good. It's it's for older people to read, and I like it. It's very educational. <laughs> but um, what's interesting is they talk about the deficit and how a classroom would budget, and they have a lot of good ideas. You know, considering um, using the nation's projected 2015 budget of 4.2 trillion dollars. And a six and six hundred seven billion dollar deficit. Um, the students discuss current and future tax. So they asked the students, "What would you do?" And they came up that Congress actually wants to uh, freeze wages and environmental cleanup using a carbon tax and to cut Social Security, which doesn't work. But to their surprise, when they did this study for the kids in the college. They came up with practical things to do, like um, made most made sizable defense cuts, others closed tax loopholes and added or raised taxes, including higher gasoline taxes and a new 5% sales tax, even though they knew the Big, big Mac would go sky high. <laughs> they didn't cut education, they protected the environment, and didn't touch Social Security. Faced with the same options, options that have paralyzed Washington, the students worked to find success. They weren't selfish. The new taxes, for example, would affect them dis disproportionately. I don't think we should throw grandmas out on the street or deny the elderly health care services, is what they said. So, um, interesting enough, they took care of education, they took care of the elderly, keeping the health programs intact, not throwing them out to uh, to the wolves, and um, they cut Congress's budget. And the military, who would have thought? <laughs> and it works. So, but the reality up there, sadly to say, as you go further into this, this paper, is um, that's just a study that they did, and I don't know why they don't follow through with it. The reality out there is uh, kind of scary. Um, the scary reality is, is the painful cuts that California Governor Jerry Brown said in March as he signed $11.2 billion in spending reductions to programs benefiting the poor, the sick, and the older people. Poor, the sick, and the older people. Poor, the children, the single parents mainly. Um, the children, um, the sick, and the older people to close a $26.6 billion deficit in the 2011-2012 budget. It hits vulnerable people, people who can't afford it. It hits. Does it make sense? That is what the reality is, is they're hurting the elderly, cutting the Medicaid, um, the older people. It's scary. It's a very scary time for seniors who are in need of support services to stay in their homes. Even though it costs more money to put them into an old folks home, less money to operate and help them, give them support living in their own home, they're taking them out of their homes and putting them in old folks home. It costs more money. Doesn't make sense. But that's what they're doing. Um, why? Um, it's a crazy world out there. So then you go on reading a little bit further, and you have Bankrupt. And what's Bankrupt? Valley Hope, California. And um, at 11 a.m. on Friday morning, you'd be hard-pressed to file a police report because there's nobody to file to because the police station has cut their budget and there's hardly any police around. Drug sales are on the rise, and there's prostitution in Sonoma Boulevard, one of the town's main drags. So you have burglaries are commonplace. People who used to eat at Taco Bell are now robbing Taco Bell. So this is interesting. This, this Napa River, River is about 25 miles north of San Francisco. And um, one of the main retailers, and the busiest retailers, is a faded downtown where establishments selling marijuana. Um, the 
the other stores are all vacant, but the place selling marijuana, they're still there. <laughs> that was funny. The sick way. Um, you see uh, streets paved when you see crime soaring and squatters taking over foreclosed properties. Something is wrong with this picture. Well, who would have thought? This is what's happening, not just here, but across the country in about 30 other states. This just is happening here right now in Valley Hope. Um, as gas and food prices rise, homelessness among seniors is headed up. Well, and also single parents, I'm sure, and the children. Um, these cutbacks and people are afraid to go out at night. So it's scary. About 600 cities have filed for protection from creditors. That's also scary. Sales tax have dropped from 83 million to 65 million, and that's why it's going on. Valley Ho has gained a reputation as a good place for criminals to set up shop. Some residents say. Um, God, the only thing they have to say good about Valley Ho is the only thing I like about this place is the weather. But golly gee, the weather's good. You can be homeless because the weather's good, but everything else sucks, they're saying. It's bankrupt, crime's up, everybody's havoc, and they're hungry and cold. Not a good thing. So what's the solution? It's the problem. Everybody's going broke. The state's going broke. All the states are going broke. Everything's crazy up there. What's the solution? Well, my solution, what I think is a good idea, is to hit up these guys. The greatest entrepreneurs of our time. And there's 12 of them. they got 12 of them on here. Jeff Bozos. <laughs> Bezos. <laughs> um, I have the idea for Amazon.com. These guys make big. Had a great idea and they're working it. And that's great. I think it's good. I think it's all good. But can they share? I mean, Steve Jobs, and we know he's gone. You know, the, the president of Apple, $108.2 billion. And the market value is $546 billion. Golly gee willikers. What happened to all this money? Did he just pass away? Did his relatives get it? Or what's going on? <laughs> um, you know, can, can Steve Jobs, um, um, you know, his, his money go towards the deficit? That'd be kind of cool, okay? Bill Gates here, he's got $69 billion and market value is $273 billion. But Kali G. Willikers, Bill Gates, can you share? Can you not pay your 11% taxes and pay 30% tax like we all do out here? Or 28% tax, the average mo, the average Joe, the middle class? People making 100000 a year paying, you know, 38% tax or 28% tax, excuse me. And uh, same thing with Warren Buffett. He bragged about it in the Time magazine, saying that he'll do it if his buddy Bill Gates will pay 30%, he'll pay 30%. Chuckling, chuckling, saying, you know, that's the rules, and I just play by the rules, and I have enough money to play by the rules, so ha ha. <sighs> Well, why don't we just have them pay fair tax? That would be a cool idea. The other idea I have is, yeah, ask the Pope. Make the Pope pay the deficit. They got lots of money. And for the um, bad thing that the Pope allowed, the molestation years back, um, which still hasn't been paid back, I don't think, it's affected a lot of, lot of families out there, a lot of families. With that trauma, a lot of families have been dramatically affected by it. Yeah, the Pope, I think, should pay our deficit and make everybody even keel. At least apply some money towards it. That could be their fine, I think. That would be a good fine to make everybody more right side up. <laughs> anyway, there's my thought. Julia's brain thinking again. Who knows? Who cares? But thanks for listening to me. Have a great day. Love ya. Ciao, ciao.